Steve, succinct as ever. Thank you, mate. That's three minutes made up. Right, next, Andrea. Hold on. Hello, everybody. That's my five minutes just started now. Um, <laughs> I'm here today to tell you about the, a piece of work we've been doing with online triage and consultation using a product called eConsult, which was also called WebGP, which you might have heard of. If you haven't, I'm going to show you this very quick uh, film to tell you about it. <laughs> All across the UK, GPs are under mounting pressure to give more access to patients. Despite many practices extending opening hours and offering weekend appointments, demand continues to outstrip supply. eConsult is a platform that allows patients to consult with their own NHS GP online. Designed by GPs for GPs, eConsult offers patients the option of self-help and symptom checking or signposting to pharmacy or 111 for minor conditions, or they can choose to consult online with their GP. Already used in hundreds of practices across the UK, eConsult has significantly impacted practice productivity by empowering GPs with a faster and more cost-effective way to assess patients. Two to three e-consults can be completed in the equivalent time it takes to conduct just one 10-minute face-to-face appointment. For practice staff and GPs, e-consult couldn't be easier to implement. It simply bolts onto your existing practice website, without having to make any major changes to the way you or your staff work. Patients with restricted mobility, the elderly, people living in remote regions, even busy young families with limited time now have a secure, more convenient way to consult with their GP. 95% of patients already using eConsult say they are satisfied with the service. It's a fantastic idea. It is really good. It gives you another option which wasn't available 10 years back. Basically, it plugs onto your own website, your own GP website. We're speaking about GP practices here. And it is as simple as that. The patient would visit the, web the website, go on to it. First of all, they will get the self-help, that option. Hopefully, they'll be guided into that. And we've found in our small piece of work that they do. And if they don't, they carry on down the line and they go to a consultation. And that will be how the practice works that out they will decide if it's an advanced nurse practitioner that's looking at it or the GP. And it's what we're doing is a phase one evaluation. We've completed it six months. We were looking at startup challenges and opportunities, marketing, what works and what doesn't, um, staff feedback and patient feedback. And that's in 11 practices across four boards with very varying demography, geography and deprivation. So we took a four-week snapshot as well, just earlier in the year, of all the consultations that came into these practices. This is a snapshot. Unfortunately, it's not showing the self-help ones, uh, which we omitted to put in, and we didn't have time to get them in today. But um, that is the 11 practices that have taken place. And along with all these, you can see there's very varying uptake. Some have gone with it because... They are very um, au fait with technology and their baseline practice already fits in with what's going on. For others, it was a complete change in practice. So what we also looked at was patient feedback. All the patient feedback is positive. That's embedded within the survey. We looked at staff feedback. Not so. It's mixed. Some very positive in the areas it's working well, as you would imagine, but in other areas where it's a bit more challenging, there have been more challenging bits of feedback. So what we're going to do about this, what we're going to do is now a phase two evaluation, which Stirling University is doing, and they're going to delve into these areas that were found challenging by staff particularly, <laughs> and by the project team. There was quite a bit of challenge in setting this up, just because of the national procurement, because of um, who's doing what, who's facilitating what. And just like any of us who have been involved in national developments like this, 
that's one of the biggest challenge and trying not to pass that on to those that are involved. So we're quite excited by this and this will report at the end of this year the evaluation from Sterling and the actual company themselves you consult are here Mark Harmon's here is he here yet hi Mark um, so if you want to know more about that you can do so or you can contact myself or Russell Scott who's also here at the top of the room and um, we can give you more information on it but anybody wanting to see the actual product can just go in online e-consult um, and you'll see the film um, and that's really it from me with 14 seconds to go oh okay. <laughs>